This video is on writing a compound inequality from a number line um, graph. So this is video three for solving compound inequalities. So the example says write the inequality to represent the number line. So A has um, two different graphs and you just need to start by picking a variable. It doesn't really matter what variable you pick so we'll go ahead and pick X. So for the first um, portion of this inequality uh, it tells you that x is um, less than or equal to negative 1 and then the second one is x is greater than or equal to um, 6. Once you've written this you need to decide if it is a and or and or type um, compound inequality. In this case it's facing away which is makes it an or. So you would write or in between and that would actually be it. You wouldn't have anything else to do on number one. Now if it's an and, it's going to be facing towards each other. Okay, so B is an example of and. Now to write an and um, compound inequality correctly, the first thing that you want to do is write what you do know, which is that x is greater than or equal to zero and that x is less than six. From here, you simply need um, to make it as one long inequality uh, with only one variable instead of having it separate. So start with the smallest number, which is zero. Make sure that the uh, inequality symbol is facing the correct direction, so it's actually zero is less than or equal to x, which is less than six. Okay? Um, it is pretty straightforward if you understand how to write the or versus the and. Um, ors are always written two separate inequalities, while an and would be written as one long one. So here's the U tries. You're going to write um, an inequality to represent the number line for both A and B. Okay, so I'm going to leave it up for a second so you can see that or you can pause it. And then um, remember that from here on out, solutions will be posted in class. So please make sure that you um, come ready to check these. And that's the end of the third video.